done. So now that we've talked about all the different pieces of a skill that go into a skill, we're going to bring it all together. We're going to talk about the anatomy of a skill call in Magistry version 2. This is going to consist of a description of an effect. So basically you're saying what the skill does. It is going to include your effect type. We talked about those. That's going to be essence, psychic, spirit, or one of the many body types. We're going to have the power level, one, two, or three. And then you are going to deliver that skill using one of the delivery modes that is appropriate for that skill, like a weapon strike or something like that. So an example of, an, of, of a properly called skill would be uh, the trip skill. We are going to use our weapon, and while we swing and while we hit someone with it, we're going to say crit trip body one. So crit trip body one. We have the effect is going to be a crit trip. You know that you have to trip and, and, and go to the ground. Body tells you that it's a body effect that can be resisted by dodges or parries and things of that nature. And level one lets you know that you could just put the normal dodge or parry into it and you don't have to empower that. So that is a crit trip body one. That is our new trip call. <clears throat> one that might be a little bit more complicated would be uh, a freeze paralyze effect. It is going to be by the power of nature, I paralyze your entire body, ice two. So there we have the description of the effect, by the power of nature, I paralyze your entire body, fairly self-explanatory. Ice is the, the effect type, because it's not one of the, the, the three, essence, spirit, or psychic, we know that it is a body type. And the power level is two. So in order to stop that, you would need to have something that could stop an ice effect, and you'd need to have that at level 2. You'd need to be able to put your grade 6 spell slot into that skill in order to empower it up to level 2. The third example we have would be a fear effect. So you would say something like, through the silent power of my mind, I repel you with fear for one minute, spirit 1. So we have the, the, the description of the effect, through the silent power of my mind, I repel you with fear for one minute. Again, it explains what you need to do as the person that's being affected by this skill. And then after that, you have spirit as the effect type and one as the power level. So that way you know what you need to do in order to stop that from affecting you. And that is all that, that, that's all that there is with this. You have the anatomy of the skill. This is the way that you are are going to be calling it out. When you hear it, you're going to know how you can resist it. The next thing we're going to be talking about is specifically how you resist things.